Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to the channel, if it's your first time around here So if you've been watching the videos this week then you know what's going on today already But for those of you that don't know, we're on his way back to Sheffield, not us, me and Eddie um, On his way to Sheffield Crown Court for this week's round two of trial preparation um, If you didn't watch Tuesday's video, go back and watch it um, But Basically, the judge um, had, let's say, some concerns um, in regards to me and my legal having the ability to cross-examine um, the eight prison officers that made statements against me, which is, as far as I'm concerned, a vital part of the British justice system that you get to cross-examine your accusers, etc. Anyway, that being said, um, so we're on his way to court right now. Probably going to stop for a bite to eat and a brew before we go in. And we're going to see what today brings. The judge is uh, it seemed very, very firm on the fact that he didn't want to, in his words, make the already problematic staffing levels at a prison any more worse than they need to be. I'm not being funny, but I could not give a flying crap about the staffing levels at a prison. I want you there so I can cross-examine you and, you know, make, how do I say, a fair trial, a fair trial like we're all entitled to. So, um, yeah, that's that, guys. I'm checking with you shortly. So, guys, yeah, I've just come back out of court. Um, probably in a worse position than we were on Tuesday now. Um, there's been a number of applications made to the court, um, one of which um, means that the prosecution is now going to be allowed to tell the jury that Arthur and Liv Free have pled guilty, thereby planting a big massive seed in their head that I am clearly guilty. You've got to be guilty, you've not saved them. Exactly. And the judge has made it abhorrently clear that should I run a trial and should I be found guilty my sentence is going to reflect as much it is going to be maximum it can be. it's it, it's going to be very nasty going to be nasty um so we myself and the legal now are going to take the weekend get drunk both of us him included and we're going to have a think about damage limitation here. Do I want to make a plea? No. I really, 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 really don't. Is it in my best interest to make a plea? Might be. It might be. But there'll be no plea. I won't, I won't just plea, yes, I'm guilty. The only way that a plea would work would be if there were some mitigating circumstances which would be agreed by the prosecution, the CPS. What those factors are, who knows right at this moment in time, needs to have a good, good hard think. Exactly how the judges requested, take a good hard think about this case because the the, the, the possibilities of me going to custody, going to prison for this is high, very, very high. If I do a plea bargain and do as requested, the chances of me going to jail are still probable, very probable, highly probably, in fact, to be honest with you. But it's about, you know, two months in custody or 12 months in custody. There's a big difference here. And they've also said things in court today along the lines of, I'm sure you'll all be aware of Arthur Taylor in the videos and he's saying to the prison officers, oh, you've been sleeping with... Um, inappropriate. You've been questions. sleeping with inmates, etc. And the, yeah, the courts are calling this inappropriate questions. I, however, never, ever, ever made any of those um, inappropriate comments. However, the judge and the prosecution's stance is that the fact that I was there and the fact that I published those on my video means that I am just as bad, which I think is absolutely, I think that's awful. So I didn't do them actions, so I do, I do think that's pretty awful. And prosecution did say that they were going to make sure that the people, the jury, 
knew yeah. them as well. They made that very clear. Very clear that that was going to come out in court. Yeah. So, <sighs> it's a tough one, guys, because my heart says, Marty, run the trial. You haven't done no wrong. But my brain's saying, Marty, they're going to have you. They're going to have you. And I've got to think about family, work, business. So, yeah, that is, that is it, guys. It's a mad one. It's an absolutely mad one. To think at the beginning of this week, I was extremely positive. I'm like, yeah, this is not me. I don't know wrong. We're going to have this trial and we're going to kick it out. Bam. But now, I'm like, damn. Damn. I can't believe it's actually got this far. Like, mad, guys. Auditing game is a mad game. Trust me. Warning to all you have auditors, man. Be careful out there. Especially around prisons and courts and, you know, restricted land areas. Be very, very, very careful. So once they sink the teeth in, you're going to feel the bite. That's it, guys. Um, obviously, come the beginning of next week, we're going to have to make a decision. And if we do make the... Whatever decision we do make and we submit to the court, um, I will obviously keep you guys informed. Um... Thanks for all your support all the way through it. I know you continue to support anyway, so that's it guys. Until the next one as always. What do we say, Eddie? Respect. Stay safe, Stay peace safe. and respect. Come on, Eddie. Stay guys, safe. as always, bye-bye.